When we talk about the electron geometry of the water molecule, we need to have this three-dimensional representation here so that we can understand the shape or the geometry. So we have H2O, we have one, two, two hydrogens, the oxygen's the red, so H2O, and then these two groups up here, these are lone pairs, sometimes called unbonded pairs of electrons. They influence the geometry, so we have to take those into account as well. So here's our water molecule, and if you thought about the molecular geometry, you kind of ignored the lone pairs. You can see that it's a bent molecular geometry. This is about 104.5 degrees, the bond angles here. But when we take into account these lone pairs, you can see that they're occupying space. They push the hydrogen molecules down, and that gives us a different structure. We no longer consider this bent, but now we have four things attached. And if we kind of move them like this, you can see how they're all spread out in this tetrahedral electron geometry. Because we're considering these electrons now, the geometry is no longer just bent. We're considering everything, and we're saying that it's tetrahedral. So the electron geometry for water is tetrahedral. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.